seven three. Yeah, Tony, there was another four armed robberies in the you know, South Brisbane area and the Logan area overnight. Um, we've just established that there was a dark green Hyundai XL stolen from the car yard on the Old Peter Road. It was ruined up and stolen uh, overnight. Uh, reported from uh, yesterday morning to uh, this morning. Yeah, that dark green Hyundai uh, has been seen at the BP service station on Compton Road overnight. There was an armed robbery committed there. So at the moment, we've got a large amount of police from State Crime Operations Command and uh, Logan, including uh, South Brisbane detectives, uh, looking at that to see whether it's linked with the other uh, armed robberies that have been recent times. Uh, yeah, there was violence used again. Uh, they're forcing their way into uh, some of these prem premises. As you know, they can close the premises overnight, so they are using force. No one was injured after a while tonight. What's the message to you? Uh, we're getting the message out there through our crime prevention people and uh, our patrols just to harden up uh, with security, be mindful of these cars turning up and people wearing hoodies and tracksuits and clothing like that. Um, a lot of these people are using gloves as well, so I, I guess the message is for any of these attendants to be very uh, careful. Fight back. Oh, definitely not fight back. I wouldn't suggest that at all. These people have been... Uh, well, the uh, first set of people used an iron bar, so you wouldn't want to mess with someone like that. They could be drug affected. These recent ones overnight, there's been knives presented, so we certainly wouldn't uh, encourage anyone to fight these people. Why do you think there's been such a considerable increase lately in these, uh, these robberies? Um, I think in recent years, there's been, this has been a common practice. Years ago, there were banks and whatnot, and uh, banks, as we know, have uh, hardened uh, their security up somewhat. So. Now these after hours, smaller businesses uh, are a target just because I think they have got soft security. And that is improving all the time. And, uh, like I said on a uh, recent interview, uh, I think it's a lot of it's drug related and uh, more so drugs and anything that's probably causing these faded problems. Are they getting away with significant significant amounts of cash or is it still just petty, you know, cigarettes and things like that? Uh, generally it's just petty. I can't go into the exact amount obviously, but yeah, it's, it's very petty. Uh, these businesses are where they are vulnerable, so obviously they don't um, hold a large amount of cash, so these amateur uh, criminals uh, are really not getting much at all. Are the robberies linked? Uh, as I said, there are a number linked. We can uh, link them through CCTV, and we're obviously looking at uh, uh, other methods of policing to link the uh, robberies, but as I said, whether they're all linked, we can't say. So which ones do you believe are? Which ones are you looking at? Being uh, there's a number from... Uh, there was a car, the white laser was stolen last uh, Sunday night at Springwood and from that time on there has been uh, approximately eight that we believe are linked uh, on these uh, soft target places like the after hours, IGAs, um, you know, 7-Elevens and that. So there's approximately nine we, we believe, but outside that they're possible for probables at this stage. Well, what about the ones last night? Uh, last night we had one at uh, the Shell at Belmont Road just to take you through it and it was obviously not related. We also arrested someone for one at uh, Fairfield, a 7-Eleven, so that was totally unrelated and that was excellent police work. Uh, but then having said that, we've had four, two in the South Brisbane area and two in Logan that uh, we may believe is linked. Again, we can't be certain of that. So what's the tally up to, 11? Um, the, 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 the tally, if you like, we've, as I said, we've linked nine and there's another five possible, so we're looking at 14 in the last, uh, what, what are we up to now, eight days. That's just in Logan. No, just that's in both side. areas. Not the Gold Coast? Not the Gold Coast, no. Do you think they'll strike again? Uh, quite, quite possibly, yes. As I said, the ones last night, we don't know whether the original one's doing it, but quite possibly could do strike again, yes.